اوکی ورزار ورزار اوکی این این اینی پروسس این اینی پروسس وی هاف ا فلوئید دت از موونگ ترو دی پروسس از کوینگ فرام وان اکویپمنت تو انادر وان اند وی آل دی تایم نید تو ادجاست دی فلو ریت اف دس استرین دس فلوئید ایت کان بی لیکوئید اور گاز فرام وان اکویپمنت تو انادر وان وی هاف تو الویز ادجاست دی فلو ریت اور سام تایمز وی نید تو Sometimes we need to uh, stop the flow or start it, so like or regulate it or adjust the flow rate. So for all this purpose, we use we use valves. Okay, so valves are used to start, stop, or regulate the flow of gas or liquid in the process. In addition, we have some valves that also used for the safety reason that we call them. Safety relief devices or pressure relief devices. Let's say if the pressure in a vessel in the container goes up, goes more than uh, the limit, more than the allow allowable va value. So this device, this re relief pressure re relief or safety valve, they come to the action and they will relieve the pressure. They will open and they will relieve the pressure. So and to make and they can they they assure you that we have a safe operation. So how we have different type of type of the valves that you will see in the next uh, few slides, and how we choose them, how we select the valve is really depends to the specific process requirement. What is needed in the process, and you can see in the next slide that each of the valves they have their own application, they have their own properties. and uh, on limitation so the, the those factors so this part is important those factors are really, that are really important in choosing the right valve is type of the service if if the gas or liquid phase if uh, is a crucible liquid uh, is a toxic liquid so those are all the parameters that we will consider operating temperature operating pressure and the flow rate that is expected to pass through the valve. So those are the important factor. Temperature and pressure are important because based on these two parameters, we can choose the type of material that we will use to, to build the, the valve. So in general, the main purpose of using valves, the main purpose of using valves can be one or few of these items together. Okay, most of the time a valve can do only two of them, let's say one or two of them. So the main functions of valve is a starting or a stopping a flow. So we have a valve, we open it fully. So we will have a flow in the pipe. We close it, it's fully closed, so there is no flow in the pipe. It will be a stop, all right? Regulating valve that is used to regulate the flow rate. is used to regulate the flow rate in the streams. We can open or close them and we regulate the amount of flow rate of the liquid that goes through through the, the pipe. Preventing backflow. Preventing backflow, okay, so it's a backflow valve and we call it also check valve. It's a valve that can allow the flow only in one direction. Okay, so in this case, let's say if we have a flow going from this direction, from left to the right, so this valve has this gate here, So once the flow is from left to the right, this gate is open. But once the flow is from right to the left, from right to the left, this gate will be closed and it will close the whole opening of the valve of this pipe and there won't be any flow from right to the left. So this gate, the black one here, can move from up to bottom. Reliefing pressure, okay, uh, you know, like our heart, has at least four valves, four check valves that is used to, you know, like to, to use to circulate the blood in our body. 
So you can see a lot of nice videos how these check valves are all hard works. It's very, very nice operation. Then, uh, relieving pressure valve that I already talked a little bit is, is a valve that is used for relieving pressure when the pressure in the vessel, it goes up. So this valve comes to the operation and it will be open and it will relieve the pressure in our vessel. Okay, regulating valve, most, many of valves are used to regulate the flow rate. Regulating, as you can see in this diaphragm, so this is a diaphragm, so this part can move up and down, it can move this diaphragm, and, and by, by moving the diaphragm, the flow inside the pipe, it can be adjusted, we can increase or decrease or totally close the flow through this so this is, uh, okay, most of the case, we need to adjust the flow rate. Uh, adjusting or regulating the flow rate is also calling, called throat, throttling. Okay, throttling. Throttling the flow, okay, is also regulating or adjusting the flow. So most of the time we need uh, to adjust the flow rate between the two Two extreme cases, two extreme cases, which is fully open valve and fully closed valve. Okay, we need to adjust the flow rate between these two most of the time, and we use regulating valve. So, some valve, mm, some valve can be used. Um, okay. So some valves are only used for open, fully open or and fully closed condition. And also there are some, some there are also some valves that they can work between any point of op fully open and fully, uh, fully closed. Okay. So most of the time, for the valves that are used for regulating flow, for adjusting or throttling the flow. They are not really for stopping or starting the flow. So, a stop and a starting the flow needs its own specific valve and regulating valve, although they can do this function, but their main function is not to do so. It's not to start or stop. It's, it's really for adjusting the flow rate. Okay. In general, this is an important warning that reg regulate for the, the valves that are used for regulate valve, there, there shouldn't be used to isolate means close to, to as an open or open and close valve to isolate a system or equipment. In general, we not, we shouldn't use it because it might cause really, you know, some, some big expenses like personal injuries or uh, equipment damage. Okay, regulating valve again, as I said, uh, is a valve that is extensively used uh, in most of the piping system and is used to regulate the, the flow rate, uh, is used to really regulate the flow rate in the pipe pi pi uh, pipeline. And, uh, okay, how we do this, we can do this, uh, increase or decrease the flow through the valve. We can do it manually or by some uh, external force like using pneumatic force, electrical, hydraulic force, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about them later. Okay, so uh, flow control valves, there are also um, another type of the valves that are used to, uh, to control the flow rate. So there are those valves that uh, they can, first of all, they can regulate the flow rate, they can be so they can work any at any point between fully open or fully closed and fully closed. They can operate any at any point between these two extreme extreme point, fully closed, fully open. And also in the same time, they can measure the flow rate. Okay, they have some devices in a sub inside them that they can measure the flow rate. And based on the measured flow rate, you know, then they can send this information to operator. Operator can see. If is uh, if the flow rate is the desired flow rate, so it will leave the valve like that. If not, it will send another order to the valve, so the valve can open or close and adjust the flow rate. 
Okay, preventing or backflow valve is a valve that you can see here. So, is a valve that can lead the flow only in one direction. So, it has a specific design. We have a gate, like a kind of gate that has a, a specific design that once the flow is from, let's say, left to the right, it will be open. And once the flow is from right to the left, it will be from right to the left, it will be closed, like, like this situation. So those are called, um, those are called the uh, check valve or also backflow valve is a valve that is used to block the flow in one, uh, one direction. In which ca cases we can use this valve? Let's say you have, you have a pump that is pumping your liquid from a reservoir located in the lower level to a reservoir located in the upper level. So you have a tank that is discharging liquid from this tank, tank number one to tank number two. So the pump is now working, okay, it's working. You have a power in the pump and it's working and it's discharging liquid from this tank to this one. So, in case, if the pump is shut, is shut off, is, let's say, if the pump is not working anymore, there is no electricity, so, if there is no valve here, the liquid will start to flow, flow from top to the bottom. It will be back from tank 2 to tank 1. So, in this case, what we do, we will put a check valve in the flow, we will put a check valve here, so this check valve can only let the flow in one direction from, from bottom to the top. It doesn't let the flow from top to the bottom. It will block. It is something like that. You can put it uh, in this way. So it will only lead the flow from this direction and it doesn't let, lead the flow, flow from this direction. So this is one of the application of backflow or check, uh, check valve is mainly in pumping discharge line so this part here this gate can work pneum pneumatically or it can be something by gravity let's say if uh, if i put the valve in this way so this is uh, let's say this is the gate of the valve okay this is the gate of the valve that i i pin it here so when i have a flow from bottom to the top the valve will be open when the flow is from top to the bottom, because of the gravity, because of the weight of this gate, it will be, it will be closed here. It will close the pipe, pipeline. Okay. So this is how a, a gravity based uh, backflow or the, uh, or, uh, or check valve can work. So this backflow valve is also called check valve, check valve. Okay. Check valve. Uh, so they are generally used. Uh, so you already see this uh, slides. So you, by the way, you have this slide on D2L, okay? So you can check them uh, regularly. So uh, a check valve is used to prevent the backflow in the piping system, okay? They are uh, kind of self-actuating. Actuate, it means acting. It means working, operating. So they are self-actuating. They can, they are designed in the way that they can open and close by themselves. So it only depends to the direction of the flow. When it's from left to the right, it's open. When right to the left, it will be closed. All right. So it's really self-actuating valve that, that work by itself. It doesn't need most of the time any external force or energy or you know any external help okay so some of them they have pneumatic actuator they have a, a pressure a air pressure line air line pressurized air line that is connected to the valve that can open or close this uh, pressurized pressurized airline that connected to this part and then can open and close this valve. But most of the time they are self-actuating. Self-actuating. 
Okay, relieving pressure valve is a valve like this one that you can see here. So this valve, they have a lot of application industries. What are this relieving pressure valve? So this valves are connected on the vessel. So like this is the, the way that where they are connected to a vessel. So when the pressure in the vessel goes up, when the pressure in the vessel goes up, goes more than a certain value. So they have a seat here, they have a gate here that is connected to a spring or some other part. When the pressure is too much here, so this, is, this gate, this seat can be moved up and it can discharge the gas or liquid from this vessel. It's made, most of the time is used in steam reservoir or in, in the gas, gas container, gas reservoir. So as you can see, once the pressure in the tank goes up, this valve will be will operate, the gate will be open and it will discharge some of our gases. And we usually have them, most of them, most of the time we use them in uh, pressurized valve, vessels or tanks that they have a high pressure. So we put this safety valve here in the in the vessel. And then, you know, once the pressure goes up, this valve will be open, okay? It will be open and it will discharge the gas to environment or whatever place it's supposed. So they have a lot of application that are used to discharge the ex excessive pressure of the vessel or the pipeline or equipment and to, to avoid the damage or sometimes even the explosion of that, uh, that equipment. Okay, explosion or the rupturing of equipment. We will avoid when you protect the equipment by using such a bath. So, okay, so they are designed the way to be open when the pressure in the line or in the vessel or in the equipment goes up more than the design or allowable uh, pressure, the pre preset pressure. So we call them also relief valves or safety valves. Pressure valves are also called relief or safety valves. Then, okay, reliefing uh, pressure valve again, as I said, is not something complicated. It's just a valve that is used uh, that is used to relieve the pressure. So they are connected to the vessel and they are used main, most of the time for gas vessels, ga equipment that they have gas. So is there is a seat here, the seat connected to a spring. This spring is set. Okay, the, the spring has a needle here. It has a, has a part here that you can turn and adjust this spring in a certain pressure. You can preset the pressure. So by turning this device here, you can adjust this spring that at what pressure to that, that allow at, cert, at what pressure that this seat can be moved. Okay, so the, when the pressure is too much, this seat will be moved, which is connected to this spring and it will discharge the gas. How we pre, how, we adjust the relief pressure. We adjust it by using this spring and this device here. We can make the spring very tight or very loose, depending to which pressure we want that this valve to come to the action. Then, okay, a stop or isolation valve. Those are also another type of the valves. If you are at home now, if you go to the washroom or to the uh, to the bathroom, you can see like under the sink where we wash our hand or face. So you can see such a valve. Those are called isolation or stop valves. So what's the application of this valve? If let's say the the tap, the water tap in 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 the bathroom is not working, it needs some repair. It needs to be replaced. So what we do? We just close this valve. So there won't be any water, either hot or cold water, going through these pipes. So you can adjust or change, uh, repair the valve, okay? So in the industries, we have different type of isolation valves. And these valves are usually used when we have some uh, maintenance requirements 
some uh, emergency condition you know that we want to stop or repair uh, you know equipment so one very simple example is that this wire that we have in our uh, houses in the in the bathroom so uh, we use this fire to completely stop the flow okay or completely permit the flow by opening and closing them we close them close the flow completely there won't be any flow there will be zero flow and when is when are open we will have fully open i mean 100 percent of the flow will be will be passed through the back so uh, they have this valve they have a specific design and we have it because since they are all the time in the process the, there are some important requirements for this valve first of all they shouldn't have they should when they are open they shouldn't make any pressure drop or flow restriction okay the flow has to to move freely uh, through the valve and we shouldn't have any restriction or any pressure drop through this valve and also no leakage when they are closed when they are closed okay when they are closed we shouldn't have any leakage even you know some droplet of liquid or gas okay that that goes through the back okay so this is about the isolation valve or stop valve okay so they have different shape we can have different type of this valve depending to the application so this is one of the those type that you can see in your even kitchens in the, under the seat uh, sink of your kitchen or in the bathroom the washroom we use uh, many of this uh, valve and are usually used to stop the flow for some maintenance for some emergency case for some repairing and they can be also different type globe gate ball butterfly plug that i'm gonna talk a little bit about this type of valve uh, later in this uh, presentation okay so the basic requirement of this valve is to stop the flow and as i said when we are designing such a valve uh, we should there, there should when they are open when they are open there shouldn't create any pressure drop for us or any restriction in the flow okay and when they are closed there shouldn't have okay any leakage okay any when they are closed there shouldn't have any leakage uh, so like those are the important uh, um, important requirement of this valve that you could see in the previous slide. So now valve classification valves are classified to several different types. Okay, depending to the method, if there are flow valves or isolation valves, uh, if there are flow valves, okay, uh, they can be valves that are used for controlling flow uh, we have also directional directional okay so valves that are used to control the flow okay to let's say regulate the flow okay increase or decrease the flow rate directional valves or we also call them check valve or direction directional valve we also call them check valves okay or backflow valves that are those valves that only let the flow in one direction so the the directional flow valve they have also different types we're not going to go through them we are going to mainly talk about this part and also pressure relief valve pressure control valve or relief valve or safety valves that are valves that they will come to the they come to the action when the pressure in the vessel goes up more than certain value okay and also they are categorized depending to the method of installation if they are flanged only with some screws if if they are welded or treated okay 
So those are different type of, you know, like uh, th those are also like the, I mean, we can categorize them depending on how they are in a cell in the pipeline. Okay, type of the, <coughs> okay, type of the, types of the verb, as I said, we are going to talk about this, this type of the verbs. Uh, gate valve, glove valve, plug valve, diagram, diaphragm, ball, butterfly, needle valve, check valve, that I are, we already talked about it, we will talk a little bit more, pressure relief and control valve, that is usually a valve, one of this valve, plus another device that can rotate, turn, I mean, open or close the valve either by electrical force, pneumatically uh, uh, or uh, by hy hydraulic force. Okay, gate valve is a valve that you can see here, okay? And it has a disc, okay, it has a kind of thick disc like this one. So that, and then it has a, a stem here. So you can turn this stem, okay, either clockwise or vice clock, uh, clockwise or uh, counterclockwise. And in, in by, 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 by turning in on clockwise, you will close the gate, okay? You will bring the gate down and you will close the flow. And when you uh, turn it on counterclockwise, the gate goes up and it will, the gate goes up and it will be open and it will let the flow to go through the pipe. So, this valve um, they are mainly used for not regulating the flow rate. They are mainly used for open or close the flow, not really regulating the flow, okay? And they are kind of a start or a stop, uh, a start or a stop flow valves. And, and they, are, they shouldn't, you know, like as you see, when they are fully open, okay, as if there is no valve in the pipe, okay? So they are used to provide when they are open, they should provide a straight, free flow without any restriction, without any pressure. Drop. That is obvious that when there is, the valve is open, as if there is no valve and as if the flow is going through a pipeline, a straight pipeline. Okay, so we don't want uh, we don't want any rest, any restriction to be imposed by this valve. Okay, so. When uh, and also they are used where we want to have an immediate shut off or shut down of the of the stream of the flow, so we we'll close it and we totally shut down the flow. So very important point here that is remarked that these valves are for open and close mood for opening flow and closing flow, and they should never use for throttling the flow in the system. Throttling means for adjusting or regulating flow. So we shouldn't use them as a regulating valve. We should use it only as a stop or open. Okay, otherwise we will damage the valve. So glove valves are also kind of similar to, to gate valve, but instead of a gate, we have a piece of metal that we call it plug. Okay, plug, and is is also called, and this configuration we call it glove valve. Okay, so they have, you know, the principle of operation is the same. So like when once this valve is open, once this plug, or we also glove, we also call it glove. One is open, one is move up, so it lead the flow to go in, and once it's done, it's closed, so it will, it doesn't, it will block the flow. So this valves, okay, you can see the operation here in the in the more clear way. So they are used as a control valve. They can throttle the flow, and they can also be used as open and close valve, as a shut off valve, okay. And also they can throttle the flow. It means they can adjust the flow rate 
of the pipeline of the liquid that we have. Okay, and they are usually used for liquid services. So that's about glove mouth. Middleware again, all this part they are working on the same principle, only this part, the main part that adjusts the flow rate for us has different design. Sometimes it's a gate, like, like a desk, sometimes it's like a plug, like this one, and now it's like a needle. Okay? So it's like a needle. So depending to moving to, to the movement of this needle that it goes up or down, okay, depending to the movement of this needle that is turned by this handle, it goes up and down, it can open some some free space here or close it completely. So in that case it will let the liquid to go through the pipe or stop it. So they are very precise. Needle valves are very precise and they can be used for uh, low flow rate, so very low flow rate, and they can be they are used usually for throttling the flow rate, for adjusting the flow rate, especially if very small flow rate is needed. Let's say in uh, lab applications, in, uh, in experimental works, we can use this kind of uh, needle valves. We have diaphragm valve. So in diaphragm valve, instead of a gate, okay, instead of a gate or I don't know, a glove or even a needle, we have a diaphragm. Diaphragm is, it can be from different materials, but it's a material that has, that is a very, is very flexible and it can be, it can move easily. So this diaphragm valves, they are also a control valve. It means, uh, they are used to regulate the flow. They can throttle the, the flow. They can regulate the flow rate. And uh, they are, uh, uh, as you can see, and they are used mainly when we have a corrosive material. When we have a corrosive liquid, this glove valve they are uh, used. Uh, that they have, they have more application in that case. So, and as you can see, that's how it, it operates when there is a flow. When you turn the glove, I mean, when when the, when the, you, the the diaphragm is connected to a piece of metal here, that when you turn the handle, this handle, you can move that uh, diaphragm up or down, and you can open or close the flow in that way. We have also another type of valve is plug valve. Okay, plug valve. Again, instead of a disc or gate, it has a it has a piece of metal like this. It is it has is like is like a cylindrical shape that has an opening, a hole inside it. So once we turn this handle, we turn this plug that the this part, the opening part, the open space will be in front of the flow, so the flow can move through the through the valve. This valve is also used for a stop and a start. Okay, so this uh, plug valve is uh, is mainly used for, for to stop and start the flow, not really for throttling. In some cases, it's also used as throttle valve, but its main up main function is a start and a stop. Okay, so. That's about main option, main, 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 uh, main function as a block or a stop and a stop, stop and a stop plan. In some cases for control or throttling. And their main application, this, this piece of information in each side is very important. Pro, please try to memorize or understand. So you will be tested based on that in your, your exam. So this plug valve, they are usually used for system that we have very clean fluid or in, we have studies. Studies are mix of liquid and some very small solid particles that are all mixed together. Let's say uh, if you have a orange juice with some pulps inside it or if you have carrot juice with some pulp 
with some pulps inside it. So that is uh, called also a slurry. That in many industries we have a slurry flow. Valves are also another type of valves that that part, that gate part is, it looks like a bulb, it's like a spherical shape that has a hole inside it. This valves, they are similar to plug, but in plug we have a cylindrical plug here, but, but here we have a, a spherical or a ball valve. So you see that this opening part here is, is like a circle, okay? And usually this valve, this, the diameter of this circle in the valve, this circle here, this one, the diameter of this circle is equal to the diameter of the pipe. So that's the advantage of uh, the, the ball valve that, you know, we can choose a ball valve that that opening of the ball has exactly the same diameter as, as the pipe. So when the valve is totally open, this this circle, the diameter circle is the equal to diameter of the pipe. So they will match together and there won't be any uh, any restriction in front of the flow. Okay, there won't be any pressure drop, so we will can we can provide a very straight flow free of restriction, free of uh, free of uh, pressure drop. So that's one of the advantage. So they can be also used as both block valve or or a control valve okay both for block or control mm -hmm. so they are used when the original pipe diameter must be maintained when the valve is fully open as i explained this the diameter of this circle inside is equal to the diameter of the pipe that we maintain the diameter of pipe the same. Okay, so ball valves, you know, they have some uh, some plastic parts here, like in this part. There are some plastic uh, parts here that is used to seal this ball in the van. So this plastic uh, parts, they, that we call it also plastic seal or seal, uh, gaskets they cannot usually uh, suffer or tolerate a very high temperature so this ball valve in general they are not used for very high temperature services due to this plastic seal gasket that we have in to seal the bulb in the valve okay those are some other photos of uh, ball valves Okay, so this is a metal ball valve that has uh, that is used uh, used most of the time uh, in the industry. This is okay. We have also okay. Just let me check something here. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 